what really sparked this for me was I went to Bible study, right? Because um, uh, some lady, she had saw me when I was at school for my orientation and she invited me to Bible study. And I said, okay, like, hmm, why not? You know, Bible study can't hurt. And at the time I was really, really seeking answers from the Bible. So I really, you know, why not? So I tried it. Um, I learned things that reminded me, like what she was teaching me, I I already knew these things. Um, I just kind of forgot about them. Um, there are things that I was taught earlier in my childhood. Uh, what was specific Specifically, what we talked about was how um, God is not just one being. God is one. Well, God is one being with three different um, per, like persons. Like, but God is three different persons, but one being. So God is the one being, but God is also Jesus, the Word, and the Spirit. But they are all the same person. And I totally like. I feel that when she was explaining it to me, I I kind of had some resistance in my heart. And I think it's because, you know, a lot of my time and years I've grown up being taught Christianity, being taught like the Bible, being taught the word, and you're not really supposed to question it. And if you do question it, like the the response you get is very vague and it's usually, oh, just look back to the word and uh, maybe reinterpret it and that's gonna be your answer. But um, I'm really searching for answers that are just not in the, like I, I've, I've read the word, um, if I'm being honest, I don't really have any inclination to read the word and I don't know. I don't know why that is. I, I don't know if I'm, if I'm a heathen or what. Um, I mean, I'll read the Bible and I just don't get it. But like, you know, the, the 10 commandments, I wholeheartedly agree with like thou shall not kill, thou shall not do all these negative things. Yes. Like be a good person. Yes. All of the principal ideals from the Bible. Yes. But a lot of other things I just don't feel yet. And, um, you know, who knows, maybe eventually I'll get a grasp of what the Bible is essentially, you know, trying to tell me uh, the stories behind it. Um, I think that, you know, I'm not going to give up on it, but I just do have a lot of questions. And one of my questions stem from uh, my Bible teacher was telling me that the Greeks had discovered this. The Greeks had discovered this. And when I heard Greeks, I heard white cisgendered man. And I think that I'm just at a point where being taught things from only the white person's the white cisgender man's perspective is just very um off-putting to me not to say that they're a terrible group of people um but it's just that i feel like for me to really feel something i need to be taught or shown it by someone that i can relate to on a deeper level and it also kind of makes me think like where were my people during these times and why were they not spoken about why is it only talking about he him this this that where are the women in this time period where are the lgbt people because i know they existed where is the representation and i think that to keep referring to a book that has literally uh no representation and religions that have no representation for groups is unfair to me and unfair to my future kids everybody because you know like I've grown up on it and I didn't, I didn't question it, but now being this individual that I am, I question it because, you know, if God could make me and I'm me, I'm a black transgender man who is very queer. I have I don't really box myself in sexuality. I'm just, I just call myself queer at this point. I'm a black queer man. I'm trans. And if God can make me like this, I know for sure there's other people, especially in the old days that were like that. And to have no representation whatsoever in the Bible for that is just, it doesn't add up to me. And if I am wrong, like, please someone uh, show me the verses of, you know, someone that looks like me being represented. And I, I, I need it, honestly, because I've grown up seeing everyone knows Jesus is like everywhere that you go. Jesus, Jesus is white. I've never seen a black Jesus, a brown Jesus. till now, because things are getting more progressive and people are questioning it. But like, I don't understand why it's not the norm. And I, I, I just don't know what to think anymore about like religion because i know that god is real and there's definitely something higher than me like i i know that for a fact but religion and the explanation that religion has for it, specifically christianity just doesn't add up to my my beliefs anymore and you know i'm not trying to sit up here and say like oh yeah i don't believe in god like i said i do but i think that there's a different way to explain it and i don't know exactly what way that is but i'm not going to keep conforming to the way that the world wants me to understand it yeah yes um the, the white people created, um, you know, the Bible and all the, like, I don't, that's not what I 
hold true to myself it doesn't align with me so i'm not going to continue to try to force myself to uh, to like it or to love it or to feel it because i just don't and I, I just don't like i'm not even upset i'm not mad but literally my whole life all my bible teachers have been white males like getting preached by pre preachers right white males white males white people white people like not to bash white people but i don't feel seen i don't feel heard i don't feel represented you know because even there's a lot of black um black preachers black you know um prophets or just black people that will preach the word and they still hold a lot of misogynistic homophobic transphobic beliefs and i just can't conform to that you know like yes they do say some great stuff like how i'm saying um it's not all bad they do say some great stuff but i want to be able to uh to to, to be felt and represented whole like 100 percent, not like 75 like not yeah they're cool but they kind of say some homophobic stuff not yeah they're cool but they don't believe that trans people are real people you know i i don't want like no like no so I, and I'm gonna kind of stop seeking for it because when I seek, I don't find what I want to find. I'm just gonna let it come to me. But um, yeah, I, I find that really, really, you know, it's just something to be aware of, right? Because I would listen to, like I said, a lot of these black, even like I'm saying black because it's not just white cis men. There's black cis men that will say things like, I kind of had to stop watching this one guy because he says some powerful things but one of his like beliefs that he would bring up in a couple of his videos was that um gay people are sinners right like being uh, attracted to the same sex same gender is a sin right and he said um like he genuinely wholeheartedly believes that you are able to suppress that and live and live a normal life like you're able to so if you're gay you're able to suppress that with the help of god and be straight and bro i was watching so much of that content for a minute that it kind of like rubbed off on me i was like am i wrong like did i should i have tried to suppress myself harder and it's like no bro like no like no like no like this is not something that is you know should even be a question of oh like like this is me period so anything that makes me question myself i'm not doing it but you know that was just me being the open-minded person i am and trying to hear different people's perspectives right but i've came back to i've centered myself again and i'm like yeah no like like no um god created me how i am god created gay people trans people all these different types of people um how they were supposed to be there is no trying to suppress it with god's help that don't I don't, I don't think that's true. I, I don't think that's true. I know that's not true. I really don't think that's true. And I know it's very hard for um, cis, uh, cis people, um, people that haven't, you know, struggled, cis, straight, heteronormative people to understand something like this, to understand how an LGBTQ um, IA plus person could say, I was born like this. This is who I am. I like, I cannot change it if I try to suppress it. It's not, I'm not going to be happy. They don't understand that because they will never be able to understand that because they are not us. You feel me? And, you know, everyone is going to, everyone lives in their own box. But I find it really, really disrespectful when people in a different box try to put their ideals on you and tell you that you're invalid because they don't understand. They don't understand where you're coming from because they never will. They just never will. Like me trying to explain like a white person telling me that racism isn't that deep and i should i'm stop, i should stop being so sensitive that should that shouldn't even that that conversation should never happen why because you are not me you're in a different box than me you'll never understand my struggle so you, you don't have the authority to talk about my struggle and how i should feel when we're in two separate boxes two different perspectives a black person i shouldn't be telling any other race that their problems aren't that aren't that serious that they should just chill about it because i'm not in the same box as them you understand what i'm saying so that's something that yeah it's just been really really heavy on my mind because i look out i really do look out for looking for someone like me to preach about god that looks like me and that i can feel and i just cannot find them